Hello internet fans and welcome to this episode of Friday Fun Facts and in this episode we are going to talk about holidays. Yes, holidays. Now are there certain holidays that we used to celebrate that still exist that we don't celebrate anymore? Have you ever wondered this? Well if you have or have not that's what we're going to talk about. But before we get into the holiday spirit please be sure to subscribe. Now let's get to it. Coming up at number five, this holiday was known as Meal Monday Feeding Hungry Students. This was an old Scottish holiday around October, mid-autumn. This holiday should have a comeback where people would give oatmeal to college students because, let's face it, college students always need to spend their money on books, school supplies, and parties. They don't have much money for meals, but people would donate oatmeal to the students. But the reason this holiday fell out around the 1970s was because many college students were not eating much oatmeal. I guess the problem was they just needed to change what they brought instead of oatmeal. Bring breakfast burritos or egg and sausage biscuits. I'm sure if this holiday made a comeback and people were bringing college students some sort of fresh breakfast essentials just out of the kindness of their heart, no doubt the world would be a better place. Bullshit! Number four. Hansel Monday, New Year's Day. Hansel? Hansel? Again, another Scottish holiday. Hansel Monday, the first Monday after January 1st, was an old 18th century Scottish tradition where masters would give their servants presents and give them the day off. Hansel is a Middle English word meaning good luck or good omen. The Hansel present was typically money, meaning even the poorest servant had a little extra cash to spend on Hansel Monday. There were feasts, drinking, and music starting at midnight, with young people marching around town playing fiddles and tin horns. Inevitably, things would get a little wild. In 1845, one minister noted, the early part of the holiday is generally devoted to the less innocent amusement of raffles and shooting of firearms, which, being often old and rusty, as well as wielded by inexperienced hands, have occasioned some disagreeable accidents. Now, employers should actually do this for their employees. I mean, that makes sense, right? Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Number three, Old Maid Day. This started as sort of a joke in the 1950s. A woman named Dorothy Babe complained that she only got presents on Christmas, where her married friends got wedding, baby shower, and anniversary gifts throughout the year. So August 15th was designated Old Maid's Day to recognize those women who were not or did not want to be married. Other names for the days were considered, like glamour girls or career girls, but Babe insisted that she wanted to be called an old maid, so that's the name it got. It started in Denton, Texas, but the holiday never really caught on elsewhere and fell by the wayside in the 1960s. Today, you can still find Old Maid's Day on joke calendars, though it has been moved to June 4th for unknown reasons. Number 2. Michaelmas. Michaelmas, which was celebrated on September 29th, is meant to celebrate St. Michael and all of the angels, but it's also been associated since the Middle Ages with buying, selling, and cooking and eating so-called stubble geese which are geese that are leaner than the ones traditionally eaten at Christmas. Celebrating Michaelmas in the UK fell out of fashion over the last century, meaning it's right for Americans to appropriate as another opportunity to gorge themselves silly. Think of it as a warm-up to Thanksgiving. And number one, Arbor Day. There have been national Arbor Days in Spain since the 1500s. In the US, it started in the 1870s in Nebraska. Millions of trees have been planted as part of this celebration, and even though it's not a day off in the U.S. or even on the calendar, in most instances, it's still a day with some meaning. Traditionally, Arbor Day was celebrated on the last Friday in April, but it kind of got folded into Earth Day. And there you go. Those are the holidays that still do exist, but we don't celebrate anymore. But it would be great if they made a comeback. What do you all think? Are there any more that I didn't mention? that do exist, that we don't celebrate, but would be great if they made a comeback? Well, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you again.